What up, booze? Welcome to another video. I'm Veggie Rose. If you're new here, welcome. If you like vegan food or vegan lifestyle stuff or just improving your life in general, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very easy and delicious chili. Vegan chili, of course. Let's get ready. All right, so let's get this party in this pot started. First things first, about a tablespoon of olive oil goes into our pan and we're gonna toss in some already chopped uh, red onion and red pepper. The full recipe, as always, is linked down below. While this is cooking up, I like to do a little salt and pepper. I always like to add a little salt and pepper to our uh, veggie layer because it just helps bring the flavors of the onion and the pepper out. Now I'm just gonna let this cook until it becomes a bit transparent. You don't have to wait for it to get completely transparent because this is gonna be cooking for a while. So I'm actually gonna make a little well in the center and I'm gonna add our garlic cloves and I'm gonna allow this to cook for about a minute or so or until it becomes fragrant. You wanna be very careful about how long you cook your garlic, your actual uh, minced garlic and even your garlic powder if you're tossing it into like a dry pan like this because it's gonna cook really quickly and it's gonna burn really quickly and it's just gonna add bitterness to your dish. Next I'm adding in two cans of 28 ounce, uh, two 28 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. All right, so we've got those two cans. We have a can of rinsed and drained kidney beans, a can of drained and rinsed uh, black beans, and I'm sorry, two cans of kidney beans. That's what I meant to say, okay. We also have one can, one 20, what is it? one 30 ounce can of pinto beans. This is gonna give you a big batch of chili. Why? Because it's so yummy, you're gonna want a lot. Next, I'm adding a whole can, a whole uh, six ounce can of tomato paste. This is gonna give it such a delicious, rich flavor. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some vegetable stock, AKA vegetable broth. And no, we're not done yet. I'm gonna be adding in, you wanna make sure you use a big pot for this. We're adding in some vegan grounds. You can totally skip this part if you don't wanna add any of the uh, mock meat in here, but I would highly recommend it. So toss that in there. Again, the full recipe is linked down below. And I know what you're thinking. Where is the seasoning? Where are the spices, Rose? It's right here. We have our chili powder, oregano, basil, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and cumin. And to these spices, you can add anything you like. You can also swap this out for a vegan-friendly packet of uh, taco seasoning. But I prefer to kind of like adjust my own uh, spices like this. At this point, you can taste it. I'm just going to eyeball it. We're going to do some salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper, so I just kind of go crazy with the pepper. <laughs> if you want to make it spicy, you can add some chili pepper flakes. You can also add in some cayenne powder. So I've gone ahead and put a lid on this because it is simmering. So we cranked it up to a boil, bring it down to a low heat uh, to simmer. And I'm going to let this simmer for, wait for it, 90 minutes to two hours. Yes, because if you want a good chili that tastes good and is all just yummy delicious, you gotta let it cook for a while. And at this point, you don't really have to do anything, just wait until it's completely done, absorbing all the flavors, and then you can dive into it. So, it's time for the moment of truth, you guys. It is taste test time, and I'm going in. I've been smelling this, smelling so delicious that I'm just, I'm ready, I'm ready to go in. Let's go ahead and for the taste test. 
Oh, it is so good. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. I used to be a huge fan of Wendy's chili. And it reminds me of Wendy's chili. It is so absolutely delicious. You guys have to try it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. Because vegan food could be delicious. And you gotta show people that, hey, we can eat good food too. You know? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And I love you. Bye. <laughs>